Hey guys, welcome back to Passing Money Plan. Uh, today we're going to be talking about something that maybe some kids graduating out of high school are concerned about, such as is college required or is it necessary in order to obtain success? And I would say that most people know there's a way to obtain success, but is it, but more importantly, is it harder to actually obtain that success without college? So Kirby, I'll let you start this off. I know you got a college degree. You can speak on this. Yeah, and I was right. I do have degrees. I mean, I've helped. And and I'll say it now. Um, people, I'm not going to drop any names, but people that know, knows. Yes, I have a degree in finance. I've helped people get bachelor's degrees in any subjects. I've helped people get master's degrees and PhDs in many subjects. Um, and that includes, I mean, it don't matter because I'm not going to say the names. It includes, you know, writing papers, doing whatever, doing due diligence or whatever, goes on and so forth, so on and so forth. But the crazy thing about that is 99% of the people, let's just say the people that I help to reach and obtain the level of success in the institutional um, uh, space, they're not anywhere further than I am with just a bachelor's degree. And who I and the and the crazy part is Alex, you know this. I've talked about it many a times. The only reason why I went to get a bachelor's degree was because I was tired of people asking when I talked about personal finance, they always ask what degree that I have. So I got tired of them asking what degree did I have. And then so I went to the realm of finance to go to college. And then instead of doing a four-year degree, I went what not instead of doing a four-year degree. I did a four-year degree, but I completed a four-year degree in 18 months because of the knowledge that I already had in finance. And after going through that, taking the double workloads month after month, including summers and yada, 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 to get there to complete that degree, do I believe that a four-year degree, two-year degree, whatever degree is important to reach the next level of success. If you want to get a job and you want to work for another company and you want to say, hey, I'm an employee of a Fortune 500 company. If I'm an employee of a Fortune 1000 company, then get the degree. Because if you look at the prerequisites on a job interview or a, red, or a job uh, posting, degrees are one of the forefronts. But do you need a degree to be successful? And again, how we communicate success, and Alex, you can stop me whenever you want to. I'm fine with that. But how we on this channel communicate success is this. We communicate success as being, if I have $2,500, $3,000 a month of expenses, actual expenses, to live my life, if I can create or generate revenue, no matter if it's a W2 job or whatever, that's over what I need to live, then you're successful. I mean, preferably for this channel, we want people to create that revenue passively, meaning you got your W2 job or whatever, but then you have a, you know that revenue being generated somewhere off offline via dividends, via business, via real estate, via whatever to create the revenue. So that passive income that's coming in will control will control the paper of the lifestyle that you live. But besides that, do you need a college degree to achieve that level of success that we shoot for on this channel? No, not one iota. You don't need the degree. And especially when you start talking about personal finance. And again, I'm a finance major. I have degrees in finance. Out of the four years, and again, like I said, I completed 18 months, but it's a four year, it was a four-year process that it's supposed to go through. I just took it double. Of the four years, only it was only a 
30 minute block of instruction on personal finance. 30 minutes. You could sneeze and forget about it and you still will have a degree in finance. So do you need a degree to reach success? No. I was quote unquote successful, meaning I I had enough streams of income to pay for my lifestyle before I even entered college. But to appease the people that wanted to learn from me or I wanted to teach. Let, I don't want to say learn from me. I wanted to teach. I decided to go get a degree just so to appease them so they would start asking me these questions. But a degree itself is not. So now Alex, this gentleman right here, he doesn't have a degree at all. And he's obtaining the same level of success that I'm achieving with no degree. I mean, lucky for me that I had, you know, scholarships, you know, football and military and yada, yada, yada. But Alex has never took one iota of a class from a college institution and he's received and he's obtaining the same level of success that I have. So, Alex, I'll let you go with it from somebody that's coming from a different landscape what do you think about college and do you need it to obtain success? Yeah, I think that for students that want to do something more profound in a career space, if they want to be doctors, lawyers, engineers, something that requires an education to pursue that career that will actually, you know, will actually make a high income, then yeah, they need to do something like that. Um, I see a lot of kids my age that want to go to college for things that's for degrees that aren't going to bring them any kind of ROI. They want to be teachers, not saying teachers are bad. I'm just saying they want to be teachers more so because they like kids. They want to talk to kids. They want to care for kids. And it's all based on how they feel about that career rather than is it actually going to be sufficient to provide for them and their family. They want to be teachers. They want to be journalists. They want to strive for, I've heard filmmaking, depending on what kind of, you know, how and those are, I mean, especially in filmmaking, I mean, I'm pretty sure that all depends on your networking skills and how you, who you're actually meeting in an industry like that to advance you into success. So from my experience, no, I don't need college to obtain success. I never saw a college degree or thought of one that I would have been interested in to pursue to land me success. So I thought of different ways to achieve success. And I knew that financial success was the top priority or the top one that needed to be achieved to actually sustain myself or to survive in this world. So by achieving financial success, it was a matter of just finding step by step what I needed to do as far as managing my money personally, paying off debt, investing, and being dedicated and diligent in that too. Everyone, I would, I would believe that everyone would like financial success, but do they have the mental capability or requirement, uh, mental capability or power over their own selves to achieve that or do what's required to achieve it? I, I wouldn't agree. So I think I've become very successful for my age. The job I have just from a W-2 standpoint, just the job alone I have without a degree pays more than people I know that have degrees in the job that they have. And I, and just speaking from a job perspective, again, I've obtained this position just by my work ethic and having the, the experience in the industry that it's in and moved up. And that's just speaking from a job standpoint. So someone that just wants to have a W-2 job or contracting job, I mean, no, you don't need college to 
make more than someone with a with a college degree. But as you were stating, and, mm -hmm. go ahead. Yeah, and 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 the one thing I want to point out is what you say. One thing I want to point out is what you said is people, you know, they go and be teachers and yada, 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 because they love kids and all that. Is the truth of success is when you're doing things that you love, and this is the adage that people say, if you do things you love, you will never work a day in your life. If you do things you love, you'll be broke every day in your life. That's the truth. That is the absolute truth. You do the things that will bring you money that sucks. Being a school teacher doesn't bring you money. It all get you over that hump. It lets you, you know, y'all could, you know, do a conglomerate and, you know, get a three-bedroom apartment and all three teachers live in the same place and you take that money and save, which 99% of Americans, because everybody believed that you should, you know, you should have your own by the time you're 22 or whatever. And that is the, the sticking point that crushes the quote-unquote American dream. It's funny that the people say, the rich people say, do the things you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Because they want you to be an employee for them. But if you do the things that makes money, even though it sucks, you make the money and then you put it where it needs to go to better your life, to put you in financial situations that will make you better, that is what's important. Like my son now, my son is, he's in the military, he's 21 years old, and he does a job. It sucks, he hates it, but that's what he's doing. The next job he gets, he probably it's probably going to suck, he hates it, that's what he's going to do. But when he gets these jobs, he's taking the money and putting it to where it needs to go. Not... Doing the job saying, oh, I love it. If I'm loving the job, then I, I'm not working a day in my life. That's bullshit. It's, that's what it is. It's a make-believe fallacy that they put out there to you to make you love love working for them so you can be happy, so you can be satisfied for what you're doing. I'm speaking of teachers and all these other jobs out there. And then you're building their life legacy while you sitting there sucking at life for the rest of your life. So that's the one thing that I want to point out that you said. But in the end of at, at the end game of it all, in the in all be all is you need to do what's going to make you money. And then with, with that money, you need to put it to where it needs to go. College, no college, wherever it goes, it doesn't matter. Put the money where it needs to go. You have to tell your money what to do, or your money will tell you what to do. And it don't matter what job you have, that's how it has to go. No matter if you love it, hate it, indifferent. Life will be dependent on your life or your life, not expectancy, but your life um, prosperity that everybody's searching for is based on doing the job and making sure that you have more income then you have outgo. So your income is here, your outgo is here. If your in income and outgo is at the same level, you're screwed. And then people that's being teachers, their income is at their outgo because they're not getting paid crap. That love for kids ain't doing nothing for your bank account. And in this world, in America, your bank account the only thing that matters. So do what's best for your bank account. And that's all I got to say about it. I agree completely. We'll end it there. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, uh, sub subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next video.